Bongiorno. Today we're going to be taking a look at the model 1951 Beretta. And this is the precursor to the model 92 Beretta that's used by US forces today and by many forces around the world. So we'll show you where it came from in an evolutionary standpoint and uh, we'll shoot it and see how it does. This is my Beretta Model 1951. And anybody who takes a look at it will immediately see uh, that the 92 Beretta owes a lot of its look to this design. Uh, but there are <laughs> some really significant differences between this and the 92 Beretta. Uh, first of all, let me show you that it's empty. And, and this is certainly one of the differences. The magazine release is this button right here on the heel. And it's got an eight round magazine. The magazine has the spur that Beretta seemed to put on all of their pistols for, for many years, at least their single stacks. This is a single stack. I, I love single stack military pistols. They just feel more comfortable to me. So what else is odd on this? Well, the safety is a crossbolt safety, like you'd find on some shotguns or, you know, 22 uh, caliber rifles. And here's how it works. When you push it in from the right side, it locks everything up. Push it in from the, uh, from the left side, you're unlocked and you can drop the hammer. Right? It's just that simple. Just like... Uh, just like the Beretta 92, it has kind of an open slide. So, uh, in that regard, it looks exactly like it's got a full length guide rod. And let's pull this out. Disassembly with this is very easy. So, you can see there's a little cut right here in the frame. And there's a takedown lever. So, all I'm going to do is pull the frame back. Well, slide back, I should say, not the frame. They cut in the slide. All right, so I'm going to pull the slide back until I can slide up that takedown lever. And once I do that, the whole upper comes off, and then it disassembles exactly the way that you would expect it to. You know, guide rod comes out, and uh, barrel comes out. You probably recognize this from the P38. And that is it. Very simple. Pop them back in. And then just put her back on. And we're good to go. So we'll slide her back until we've got that cut out right in here. And then we're locked back up. And we're good to go. So let's take her out and shoot it. You know, I think it's interesting that the Italian army never adopted the uh, 1951 Beretta. In fact, they kept using the uh, 380 ACP 1935 Beretta right up until they adopted the Model 92 in the 90s. Uh, but the Italian Navy and the police force, the Carabinieri, uh, they all use this gun for 40 years until uh, they adopted the 92. So, Evil Roy awaits us, and uh, let's see what we can do. Not bad. Obviously, this gun could do the job. Well, let's see if I can handle the Beretta in single hand mode.
you know, if it wasn't for the funky safety on here, this would not be a bad carry gun. But that push button safety does make it hard to get into action uh, in any reasonable manner. Well, let's, uh, let's give those two liter bottles a whirl with the 1951 Beretta. See how we do. That was fun. Well, things went pretty well with the two liter bottle, so let's go down to one liter and see how the uh, the 51 Beretta does on that. Well, I'm kind of pleased with the way uh, the Beretta is heading. So I'm going to push my luck a little bit and I'm going to try an 8 ounce water bottle. See if I can hit that one. They're having fun. Okay. Things have been going pretty well two-handed with the Beretta. So I've got the two liters set up again and I'm going to give it a try with one hand, see how we do. <laughs> well, not... Well, clay birds are ready to go. And I guess so am I. Take the 1951 Beretta. Let's see if I can bust them. <laughs> Had a jam. And uh, this is one that I've actually experienced a couple of times. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, actually, I ran out of battery power while I was talking there. As I was saying, I ran into a jam while shooting the clay birds. And uh, since I've had this gun, which has not been very long, I've run into this a couple of times. It's got a pretty robust extractor, but it seems to not be getting the shell out before the next shell comes up occasionally. And, I mean, it is. A 60-year-old gun, so things happen. And that's why I don't carry these for self-defense. Well, since we had that stoppage, we'll take another run at the clay birds and see if we can get through them without interruption, and then we're going to call it a day because it's starting to spritz a little bit out here and need to get the gear under cover. You know, we've been having a pretty good day, but all of a sudden we're jinxed. We got the same stoppage again. Just gonna clear it and get back in action. All done.
And here's the bad guy's view of the 1951 Beretta.